what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the spring season here in forza horizon 4 or horizon 5 in series number four I'm driving around in our cerbera speed 12 that we unlocked in the last video so if you haven't seen that then go check it out but today we're gonna be jumping in and finishing out our last seasonal championship being the natural selection championship so let's go ahead and take a look at that so for this one, you can see that we will get the Ford RS200 for completing it. This is a road racing championship. And our car restriction is S1900 Country Rivals Road Racing. And here are our eligible cars that we can use. So we're going to start out with our Porsche. Um, we use this in the trial event. So we've already got it set up and ready to go. I've got a Ford GT as well as the Aston Martin Vantage set up as well. So I'm going to jump into the Porsche and we'll run down the details of that. All right. Up on the screen now, you'll see a screenshot of the Porsche along with a share code for the tune, the name of the tune, and the tuner's name. So if you want to try this out as well with this car, um, that's the information on what I'm using on it. I do give you the tuner's name and the name of the tune just because if the tuner does go in and edits the settings for the tune, whether it be something as small as changing the tire pressure, it does change the share code of the tune. So if it's not working, try searching from or by the tuner's name or the name of the tune and it should pull it up if it still exists. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and see what these races look like and then we'll take our first race onto the Horizon Mexico circuit. Okay, let's see. We've got circuit race. Circuit race. Three circuit races. Interesting. Okay, so like I said, we're starting out here with the Horizon Mexico circuit. And let's go ahead and get this underway. So this car played pretty well for us in the um, trial event. It definitely, you know, held its own. So I don't imagine to have any issues out of it through any of these races, or any of the any of this race rather. Um, something to note too is I'm going to use three different cars in today's event, um, or in this event, and you do not have to do that. You can choose one car and use it in all three of the races if you wish. Um, I use three different cars just to show you guys different options of vehicles that can be used. So just make sure you notate that before you go and spend way more money than you need to on a car and or different cars and different tunes. Um, I'm just doing this to provide some extra content for you guys. So up into first we go. And we should start pulling away here now too. So um, since I did get into first, um, I would show you guys the entire race, but that would just make the... Um, video way too long and since we've already done one race or one lap of the race essentially it's just going to be the same thing over and over again so i may go ahead and skip towards the end of the race again just to keep this nice and concise and prevent me from having to uh <clears throat> you know think of things to talk about so um i'll see you guys here in just a minute Coming up on the final turn here. This thing absolutely crushed the Dravatars with no issue. So, first place there, I mean, I would say that we're probably at least five to six seconds ahead of the Dravatars. Let's see what that actual time is. We are seven seconds, seven, um, about six and a half. So, pretty good. Um, some of them note as well, these are seasonal championships. They are not individual races um, that matter. So you do not have to come in first place in all three of these races. As you can see, I got 20 points for coming in first place. Um, this championship is weighed based off of points. So you can come in second, third, or, you know, as long as the points ma work out for you, you can come in last, I think. Um, I don't know how that would work because it would really rely heavily on the Dravatars finishing really weird. So um, if I hit next, this is the championship leaderboard. So this is where my 20 points will be. And then after next race, we can look at that a little bit better. So 
Let's go ahead and jump into our next car and we'll jump into the next race. All right, and our next car is gonna be the 2017 Ford GT. And the share code for the tune, along with the tuner's name and name of the tune will be up on the screen now. We'll see how this thing does and we'll jump into the Arch of Mulege circuit. All right, here we go. Race number two, Arch of Mulege. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, probably not, but nonetheless, we are gonna see what this the Ford GT can do. Obviously, we don't have the Horizon or the Forza Arrow. Just got the normal Active Arrow, which I much prefer. Excuse me, please move. Come on. Let's get it. We'll be able to get through here pretty easily, I believe. Got held up in traffic back there. Up into fourth. Up into third. Not quite. Almost into third. We may have taken it over for a second, but we'll get it here in just a second. That's one thing to work like, you know. Kind of keep in mind, it doesn't matter how fast you get up in the first, um, just stay competitive. You know, don't make any unnecessary chances. Another big thing is have rewind on. That helps out a ton. It doesn't challenge or, you know, penalize you or anything for using rewind. It doesn't take any credits away at the end of the race or XP or anything. Just have it on just in case because Maybe more so in the cross-country races, there is literally slight things that can ruin an entire race for you. So, I always have rewind on, um, just in case, because, I mean, I could have biffed it to a wall there. Stuff like that, you know? Just makes the life a little easier on yourself. Especially if you're doing these events just to get them done, like I am, you know? Just trying to get through the uh, festival playlist as fast as possible and get those rewards. So, just little tips there. Um, this thing handles really well. Um, it's a very good tune for sure. So, I would say either this or the Porsche is already a good option for this seasonal championship. And we do have one more lap to go. And so, I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me do one, or make you watch me do one more lap. I'll see you guys as we approach the finish line on the final lap. All right, I'm coming up on the final turn and the final stretch here on this circuit. And the GT absolutely killed it. I'd say that we're at least seven seconds ahead of these Gravitars as well. We'll be able to see here in just a second when they get across the line at some point. And we were, what was that, seven seconds? pretty easy so good deal 20 more points on to our seasonal championship you can see we are up to 40 in total so we have a 10 point lead on second place well second and third place so basically we just need to make sure that we beat out nomad and vlad droid um and we should be good to go so we're gonna go ahead and jump into our final car and into that final event Okay, and here is our final vehicle that we're going to be using. This is the 2019 Aston Martin Vantage. The share code for the tune, along with the tuner's name, will be up on the screen now. You guys want to check it out. Um, and the name of the tune as well. So, jump into this, see how it can do here in the Plaza Circuit. Alright, here we go. Notorious Circuit in the heart of Guanajuato. Let's see how we can do it through here in our Aston Martin. I love this uh, livery wrap, whatever you want to call it. Whoever made this absolutely crushed it as we ride right into a wall. So let's get a handle on the Aston Martin before we, you know, look around, I guess. Got a little bit of understeer. Um, nothing that can't be managed, I'd imagine to get a handle on it again the nice thing is you guys don't have to use three different vehicles so you know by the third race you guys might have a pretty good handle on the car that you're using um rather than me just kind of bouncing through a different vehicle for each race so 
Up into second, we're chasing a uh, pista, it looks like. Let's see if we can gather up um, the distance between us. Oh, that turn did it all right there. And I'm just going to break a little late and push him a little bit. Sometimes you got to be a little aggressive with the drive guitar, so. Up into first, we are. Yeah, this thing's got a little bit understeer. It doesn't really play too well with my driving style. I like to uh, brake late, um, which the brakes aren't like super duper great on here. The other two cars that we used, I believe, had slick tires on them. So these are using just normal race tires. So a little less grip. Um, <clears throat> and I like to be able to brake super late and accelerate out of turns. Like not even when we're basically I accelerate going into the turn is how early I accelerate coming out so um, but it seems like you know we're kind of getting a handle on it as we get going this is a very um, intricate circuit too the other two were more you know wide open so this is definitely the hardest circuit in the bunch so take that with what you will as well um, definitely a lot of more intricate turns and um, you know not just kind of easy left and rights so if I was you I'd start out with this race just to get it out of the way quite honestly I wish I would have but nonetheless you don't have to do these races in any specific order you just kind of do them as you want so but we are almost back to the finish line I believe on the second lap so once we get there, we'll do, you know, what we have done. We've got you two, two laps of exposure to the track. Um, that way you can kind of see potentially how I go by or go around it two times. Um, but just to keep this video not so long, again, we're just going to skip to the end of that third, or of this lap, I suppose. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, and around the final turn. Now we just have the, the big rush to the finish line. This may actually be the biggest lead that we've had in these events so far. But what to see? If it is, it's literally just because that track is so intricate. Um, A 12 second lead. Yeah. Not half bad. So, I think the Aston Martin would do fine there. If my honest opinion, I would pick the Porsche. I'm a Porsche fanboy. I used it in the trial event and it worked out really well for me. And it worked out really well here. So, that's just my opinion. But we do get 60 points on the championship because we came in first in all three of the races. So, if we hit continue, this will take us to the race podium. If I hit continue again, that'll get us that 1985 Ford RS200 Evolution. Alright, so there we go. That is how you can complete the Natural Selection Road Racing Championship here in the spring season of Series number 4 and unlock the Ford RS200 Evo. Um, this thing is actually a really, really good car. It's unfortunately not the Hoonigan version, but um, still quite versatile itself. So with that championship win, we actually got the um, MG MG3 uh, unlocked, and we also unlocked the Koenigsegg Jesko to um, redeem. So we're going to actually wait to do that until we can get enough for the Zonda, just because that's kind of what I do anyway. Um, but just wanted to let you guys know that at this point, if you've been doing the events along with me, um, then we've got enough to get at least that first tier in the season. And if you've been, you know, keeping up with the actual rest of the series, you might be able to get enough for the Jesco now as well. So hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful. If you did either, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content just like this. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video.